Well, and you had to, I mean, there was actually a real investigation, DC Metro Police. Yeah, that ended up, yeah, that ended up coming out. Uh huh. You know, you had to surrender the guns, which I didn't even have anymore anyway. Okay. <laughs> there, there was an investigation. You were charged for carrying a pistol without a license, uh, which is a violation of DC's gun control laws. Uh huh. You uh, were suspended for the rest of the season, or most of the rest of the season? Oh, that's a gray area. That's where they tricked us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Explain. Okay, so you you know how I said that they were on his chair. I didn't say I brung them, right? Okay. So what I did wrong, or the only crime that I made was that I said, yes, those are my guns. I claim, yeah, those are mine. I never said I brung them, never said I touched them. I didn't touch them. I didn't hold them. I didn't point them at anybody. I wasn't near them. So the only the only thing I'm guilty of was saying, yes, those were mine. So when it all came down to it, what are you guys going to suspend me for? What did what law what law did I actually broke if we actually go to court? I didn't, so I didn't get suspended for guns in a locker room. I got suspended for detrimental to the team because in Philadelphia, the pregame, yeah. I was doing a motion mocking everybody. Yeah, because well, everybody, the, the team surrounded you and you sort of like yeah, <laughs> shot them with your, with your yeah, finger. Yeah, I got that from Even Given Sunday. You know, Even Given yeah. Sunday when they were doing touchdowns and shit, they were doing all kind of crazy shit. So, you know, I decided that's what we're going to do before pregame. Right, because at that point, David Stern actually came in. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a statement, said that Arena's behavior after the investigation started has led me to conclude that he is not currently fit to take the court in an NBA game. Mm -hmm. 